Welcome to the scholars learning classes. In this video, we will be studying about the elements of weather. See, the first element is your temperature. What are the parameters that tells about the weather, that how the weather of the area is? So, the first thing is your temperature. Now, the maximum temperature of a day at a given place occurs normally in the afternoon as the earth gets heated by the sun. At night, sun rays do not fall at that place and so it cools down. So, the minimum temperature occurs early in the morning or in the midnight. So, you already know that temperature is measured by a thermometer. So, your maximum temperature is measured in the afternoon when the sun heat is very high and your minimum temperature is uh, me uh, measured, uh, let's say, during the night when the sun rays are not on the earth. So your maximum and minimum temperature are measured by Special thermometers known as maximum and minimum thermometers. Right. In India, the highest temperatures recorded during summers at several places in the plains of north and in the northwest rise above 40 degrees. We all know that during our summer, uh, you know, in north, during summer, the, you know, uh, temperature raises to about 47 degrees Celsius, which is very hot. Right. So, this is, uh, was the first element of weather that was temperature. Now the second element is the humidity. Now what is humidity? Humidity is the amount of moisture. Humidity is the amount of moisture in the air. Like how much uh, water is present in the air, how much moist the air is. See. The uh, humidity in the coastal area is very high, whereas if I talk about Rajasthan, the humidity is quite less. So humidity is measured by the instrument, is measured by an instrument. called hydrometer. Now the greater the humidity, more are the chances of rain. Now rainfall is measured by an instrument called a rain gauge. So the third element is your rainfall. It is measured by rain gauge it is an instrument with, through which the rain is measured right to make your own rain gauge see in the laboratory section in india rain is you know uh, mainly brought up by two kinds of humidity winds so the first is the southwest monsoon that is from June to September, which brings heavy rain to most parts of the country and the northeast monsoon.
that is from your November to March and it brings relatively very lighter rain so in uh, northwest monsoon which is brought up in India generally we uh, uh, have the lighter rains whereas if we talk about the monsoon of the southern west region it is very heavy rains during this monsoon now the fourth element is Now during, uh, see the southwest mon, uh, the fourth is winds. Now during the southwest monsoon period, humidity uh, brings winds from the Indian Ocean and Bay of Bengal bring, bring rain to India. During winters when the wind blows from the mountains of the North India towards the northern plains, the plain become very cold. So during summers the wind blows from the hot desert of Rajasthan towards Delhi and Delhi becomes very hot. So in you know summers wind blows from Rajasthan which you know makes the northern region very hot. Then in winters if I talk about the wind blows from Northern plains uh, like your Jammu and Kashmir, your Himalaya, so it makes the you know climate very cold. Then, if I talk about in monsoon, the wind blows from the Indian Ocean and it brings uh, and Bay of Bengal as it brings rain to India. Now these are the some of the elements of your weather, how your weather is forecasted. These are some of the elements that are taken care in the weather. I hope you have understood this completely. If not, you can write me down in the comment box. Any doubts, any questions you want to ask me, you are very free to ask me any questions on this topic. And do download the Scholars Learning app.